what are the areas or targets in the brain where the wire is placed or the lead is placed for the deep brain stimulation surgery or DBS therapy. So it's important to understand that once the wire is placed in the brain, it has to be within one millimeter of the intended area where we want to see the good benefit. When the tip is turned on the, or the wire is turned on, only a few millimeters or up to a centimeter of the area of the brain around the wire is receiving the current. So only that area will give you the good or bad benefits or bad side effects or good benefits. And if anything is farther away from, from the wire, then will have no effect from the wire and you cannot turn the current up to get to that area. And which that a one centimeter area that you're selecting to stimulate by placing the wire can change the type of benefits you can get and the side effects that you can have from the wire. There are currently approved targets or established targets in the brain. You will hear things like subthalamic nucleus or STN from your doctor. You will think you will hear things like GPI or globus pallidus interna. Those two are the most established targets for Parkinson's disease. And the third one you will hear about will be a thalamus. More accurate is VIM or ventral intermediate nucleus of thalamus, uh, where we put the wire in for tremor control. And that works for both essential tremor and Parkinson's tremor, although the VIM or thalamus does not provide relief of other Parkinson's symptoms beyond the tremor, uh, but can still be used. There are advantages to each area. And those differences are sometimes very subtle. So it takes a whole team and experts to debate each case to figure out which area stimulation is the most likely to provide the benefit and patient's goal can be achieved um, for, for selecting the right area. So in our DBS team meeting, when we are reviewing the evaluation for deep brain stimulation surgery therapy for the patient, um, we discuss not only if the patient is a good candidate for DBS or not, also what will be the right area to place the wire in. Uh, and then uh, we as a neurologist go into the surgery as a movement disorder neurologist to look at the electrical recording of the brain during the surgery to make sure the wire is going into the right space and that recording varies based on which area the wire is going to be placed in. And then we also do testing within the surgery on an awake patient to make sure that the wire has reached the right spot and that also depends on what area the wire is being placed on. So it, it is very technically challenging and require experts to, to select the area and perform the right uh, testing or evaluation during the surgery for DBS therapy.